Hey guys, Supercoach God here, and today we are looking at the best captain options for round three. Um, obviously, there's a lot to talk about. Um, a few good vice captains this week, actually. A few good captains, probably a bit more than we had than there were last week when we were talking about it. Mind you, we didn't see these massive scores from like the likes of Jackson, Butters, uh, etc. Um, so we'll have a look at it. First uh, thing, I want to show you my trades. So there you go. Those are my trades. Um, passing on Dempsey, I know he could be a very good rookie pick, but I think I've already, if you look at my forward line, I've already got the rookies I want. I'm not going to make massive moves to change that up. So also quickly, chuck a like, get this video to 20 likes. That would be absolutely amazing. Um, and chuck a sub if you're not already subbed. Uh, so firstly, the Collingwood-Brisbane game. So let's have a look at this. All right. Collingwood-Brisbane. Who who are, the, who are the main options this week for Collingwood-Brisbane? So probably Dacos is the only one. He, he really is. Um, the other, I mean, Neil could be. Um, if, you've, if you have him, I mean, not many people would have him, but... Collingwood, probably Nick Dacos is a good option this week. He scored 130-odd in the grand final, 150 last time they played in a regular season game. So, yeah, I mean, could be really good for Dacos this week. Could be a 140, 150 score. You never know. Carlton North, um, what, you got LDU maybe. Probably wouldn't be going there. Carlton midfield's pretty good. Uh, Sheasel wouldn't go there. So... And then Carlton, there's not much. Maybe Paddy Cripps, but even then, nah. So no one really from that game I'd be willing to VC. Frio, Adelaide. So you got Ryan, Sarong, Jackson, Adelaide. You got Laird. You got, I don't know, Crouch maybe. Um, Dawson. So um, any of those options are all right. I mean, there's nothing wrong with them. Maybe Dawson's probably an iffy one based on his last two weeks. But he's got to bounce back at some point, you would have thought. So my best VC for this game would probably have to be Ryan. Maybe Sarong. Uh, Essendon Saints. So VC options here. You're not captaining anyone from this game, but you've got Steele. You've got Nasai Wang and Imbalira. You've got Merritt. Um. And that's probably it. Uh, Merritt is probably the best option from that game, but I actually wouldn't be surprised if Steele goes pretty well on them. He has last few times he's played Essendon. So, uh, mind you, I don't think he's played Essendon since 2021. And I think he got a 140 or something. So, Melbourne Port, uh, you've got... You've got... Uh, Petrarca. I don't know if Clary's playing this week. You got Butters. You got, I don't know, Rosie Wines, whatever. Um, mids seem to play pretty well on Melbourne. I think if you've got Petrarca or Butters, they're probably the, they're the obvious two. Houston, possibly. Um, but yeah, I'd probably Butters or Petrarca for me. And then. Here we get, we're getting into the captains now. So Bulldogs West Coast, I think Bont is just the obvious captain this week. Um, it's either Bont or someone or Heaney in the next game. West Coast, I wouldn't really touch anyone. Sydney, yeah, Heaney's probably a good captain option against Richmond. Richmond's midfield is terrible. Um, and then Richmond, there's no one really captain there. Hawthorne Geelong wouldn't be captaining anyone there either. So not even Stewart even. I wouldn't be captaining Stewart. I think Bont and Heaney are the two you'd go with this round. Um, anyway, let's get into mine. So I'm still tossing up between Butters and Dacos uh, as my VC. So Butters, the thing with Butters is last time he played Melbourne, he got a look at this. This is ridiculous. He got a 184. Who the hell thinks they got a right to get a 184 on Petrarca, Oliver, 
um, viney, ridiculous. So I really like um, the Butters VC. Then again, you look at Dacos, and he's gone 150 last time. This was his first year, so don't worry about that. But he went 150, and he went about 130 in the grand final. He might have gone 129 or something. So he is also a good option. So I think we have a plethora of good VC options this week. Ryan, you got 111 last year. Uh, 134 in one, uh, 2021, but I think his role this year is just even better. Like he doesn't have any, he doesn't have Cox or Young to compete with back there. It's just him and yeah, uh, the bloke's ridiculous. I just want to have a look. Like, um, yeah, he was all right back into last year. Um, but yeah, I think I think he probably gets a, mm, a 120 on it on um, Adelaide, but. He, I don't know if he gets much more than that. He definitely could. Um, and Bont is definitely my captain this week. I, th- I tossed up Heaney, but you just go with the safe one as a captain score. And Bont against West Coast is just absolutely nuts. Well, you, get a, you got a 160 last time, I believe. A 162. Yeah. Look at these scores. That's like a, I don't know what that three round average is, but it's, it's about a 140 uh, three-round average. So that's just ridiculous. Um, but yeah, what else can we what else can we talk about? Like who else is there really? A steel, I wouldn't be V saying steel. Gorn. I didn't talk about Gorn. Gorn, you could captain. But I wouldn't be, or vice captaining. I wouldn't be doing it. There's other options. Um, who else? Grunny against Richmond's also an option, but wouldn't touch him. Yeah, English if you've got him. Actually, English is probably the best captain this week if you have him. Um, and Libba could be an all right one too if you don't have either of the other two. So. You know, there's a there's a there's a lot of options this week. I, I think more than we probably thought there was last week. Um and that could be just like because we've seen all these massive scores from some players and they could like all just drop one tens this week. But I don't think I think Bond's locked in for a one thirty plus score. I think Butters is probably locked for a one twenty plus. Day cost probably Locked as a 110. Could definitely go high though. And yeah, I mean, Heaney's probably going 110. Yeah, now lots of options this week. I it, It's pretty insane. Um, the primos at the start of this year are better than any other year. Like you look at um, Frio, got the Ryan's averaging 146. Um, Jackson's averaging 146. And I think... Um, Sarong is averaging 150 or something ridiculous. Like, it's just insane this year. Um, but anyway, that's the video, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Good luck for tonight. Hope Dacos scores a 150 for us all that kept him. Um, and, yeah, I won't be posting tonight, uh, unfortunately. I've got a commerce ball for uni. So, hopefully that's a bit of fun. And yeah, hope you all enjoy. Cheers.